At 6 p.m., candidates to replace Governor Newsom in the recall election are going to go head to head in the first debate of this recall election. Our colleagues Alex Michelson and Christine Devine are co-moderators. Alex is already out there wearing a suit on a hot day, so we know we have our bona fide political expert to walk us through what's going to happen tonight. <laughs> I, I am actually glad you are indoors because it's going to be a hot one there in your Belinda, to be sure. Um, preparations underway. I mean, it's go day for for the for the library. It is go day. We are at the Nixon Library in Yorba Linda, and this is our first look at the actual room where this is going to be happening. This is the East Room, uh, an exact replica of the biggest room in the White House. Right over there is where I'm going to be sitting next to my pal Christine Devine uh, asking questions of the candidates. And here are the podiums where the candidates are going to be standing. Former Congressman Doug Osi, Kevin Kiley, Assemblyman from Sacramento area, Kevin Faulkner, the former mayor of San Diego, and businessman John Cox, who of course ran for governor in 2018. Um, a lot of folks don't know that much about these folks, and so I think we're going to get an opportunity to get to know them, get to know their perspectives, and talk about the big issues. We've got a poll uh, that just came out about the issues that people are caring about the most, homelessness mm. at the top of that list. Also, issues like housing and crime. And the, the tough part for Governor Newsom is, recently, all of those issues have gotten worse, including the COVID case numbers, which is why you see the recall race, Michaela, mm. getting closer. Yeah. Several recent polls show that we're almost within a margin of error, statistical dead heat on that big question, whether or not to recall Governor Newsom. Remember, there are two questions on the ballot. Should he be recalled, number yep. one? And number two, if he's recalled, who should replace him? All these guys want to replace him. And remember, you can vote to keep them, but then vote for a replacement just in case. And tonight is an opportunity to get to know some of your choices. So, you know, this kind of thing can be a little overwhelming for the uninitiated. This is your world. This is where you geek out, right? Mm -hmm. Help people at home understand some things they should watch for tonight. Right. So, I mean, I think that that point that we just made is really important for people to know, right, which is the idea that everybody can vote on that question, which is to get to know who these guys are. So for Democrats, they may be looking who's the more moderate, who's somebody that maybe is more in line with us, because there aren't any major Democrats on that ballot for question two. We're basically choosing mostly between Republicans and some Democrats that people have not heard of or who haven't served in elected office before. Uh, so look out for what's on, uh, but then there's other people that are like, I'm more conservative, this is our opportunity, mm -hmm. what's happened in terms of Governor Newsom hasn't worked, so we want somebody who's more in line with our thinking, and you'll see that demonstrated tonight. And we're going to get into all of those issues, homelessness, crime, yeah. COVID, whether we're going to be bringing mask mandates back, right. all of those things are going to be discussed, and I think you should look for who aligns most with where you're at right now. Absolutely. I think what we've learned last year, Michaela, in the last year, especially with all these COVID restrictions is that even if you don't necessarily love politics and you're frustrated by some of the back and forth and don't get excited by it, you uh, see how much power the governor of California has, how much this person affects your life, and this is your opportunity to have a say on that. Absolutely. The things that you care about, they are determining. And I think I just lost uh, my ability to hear. Uh -oh. So uh, if you're talking with me, I'm sure you're saying <laughs> something brilliant, but I can't hear I'm you right now. I'm saying brilliant <laughs> things so to him. He has no idea all the brilliant things that I'm saying about him. Look, he's got a big day ahead of him, so does Christine. Uh, they'll be moderating the debate tonight, part of the moderating panel, tonight, 6 p.m., right here on Fox 11. Be sure to tune in. I know they're going to do a great job, ask all the tough questions and the important questions about things that matter to you.